some of the things that, you know, it kicks back in your mind from time to time, you know. You know I look at Mark Ingram and, and, and I look at, you know, you know, Richardson and I see them guys out there running, I'm like, man, I can hit that hole quicker. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And, 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 and these guys are at another level. I tell you what, we have some great brother vets at Bama and they are second to none. And uh, just like everyone else, I'm, I'm excited about this upcoming year. Well, I know a lot of people say it's hard to repeat. That's all you hear. It's mm -hmm. ESPN, everything you go through. But yeah. I'm telling you what, be ready yes. for the tide to roll again this year. Well, you know, certainly. And, you know, you're number one. And so everybody's going to take shots at you. We're, we're going to get the very best from every team that we face. And, and that's good. That's what we want. Uh, and, and for what I've seen of this team this year, they are hungry. And so they're not so much concerned about last year that was great you know even a year before that we went 12 and 0 in the SEC I know we lost to Florida and not losing in the, in the Sugar Bowl but they're not they're not so much as worried or focusing on what's behind they they are reaching uh, to the things that are ahead of them and so I guarantee you uh, uh, and, and as a former player you can look at how a guy is training how a quarterback a running back even the coaches Coach Saban is hungry. All the assistant coaches, they are hungry. Alabama fans, we are hungry. So, so, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an outstanding year. If a team is gonna come in and beat the University of Alabama, they're gonna have to be clicking on all cylinders. The one thing I gotta ask you before we get out of here too, you said the spirit was willing. Have you ever thought about getting out there and coaching? <laughs> well, you know, I love, I love teenagers. I love kids. I love. I, I love speaking at colleges and high schools. Uh, there's, there's so many gifted, you know, if anything's going to change in our country, it's going to start with our young people. And, and, you know, and so I love to basketball, football, baseball. My 18 year old daughter, you know, she played girls fast pitch softball and girls sports right now is just, it's just at a level in our country right now. Uh, so I, I love doing it. You know, as far as coaching, I, I just you know, can only go out and do what God called me to do, and that is to, to share his word right now. That's right, and, and you do it well, brother. Thank you so much. And uh, we enjoyed having you, and, and good luck in, in all your endeavors, and, and certainly keep you in our prayers. And uh, you. Uh, God bless you for stopping out here and spending Amen. some time with us. Amen. Thank you. Saran and Stacy with us here on Highway 280 up at Bama Ware. And uh, you need to come by here and get all of your uh, Alabama accessories, your, your uh, game day uh, jerseys, your hats, anything you need. Greg and Carla Bates, they have it here at Bama Ware. And uh, we just are, are blessed to be here today. And uh, Greg, we're, we're, this won't be the last time we'll be up here, I'm sure. No, it's not. I feel like this is only a beginning. And this is going to be a cornerstone. This is the business of the cornerstone of the city of Charlesburg. And I believe it's 